Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Techbook. In this video, we will be creating a flex card example. Within a flex card, we will be creating a data table that displays opportunity records which are in the closed at one stage. Here is the output preview. We will be displaying the data table showcasing the opportunity records whose stage name is closed at one. For this data table, we will be using a SQL query as a data source. Now let's create a flex card in our Salesforce org. After landing into OmniStudio flex card, let us create a new flex card by providing some information of the name of the flex card. Make sure you are giving in a camel casing. Make sure the name is unique. For team, we can select Newport or Lightning Designing System or Newport Designing System. Let us select Newport Designing System. If our flex card needs to be used in another flex card, we can make the make this flex card as is child flex card, so that we can use in another flex card. Give a valid description of our flex card. Now select the data source type. Here we can select different data source type. Currently let's go with SQL query. We can also change any time under setup to change our data source. Let us click on next. Here we can provide our query. So I created query to display data like uh, whose opportunity whose stage name is closed one. So I will be getting only those records only. Uh, additionally, we have some other options like we can control order by some by giving some specific field like that. So let's click on next now. So to test our response, like uh, to get our, how the response will be getting, we can search for fetch. We can click on this fetch so we can check how our data is getting. Like uh, these are the fields which which I selected to query like these are the fields and also if there is a uh, test parameter to select the key and value we will be giving the account ID here and we will be giving the value here by a test value here by adding some pairs currently we are searching from SQL query we will be uh, using this data like this is the test response uh, we can also check it out from in the JSON format also I mean whatever the response we are getting so this is an, with the JSON format and this is in the table or fo format. So once we are getting the data, we can click on save. So now uh, we will be creating uh, our flex card will be created now. We can you can see LWC is created successfully as this flex card is built on top of uh, LWC. So now let's drag and drop the elements here. So since we want to display the data table, uh, let's drag and drop the data table so you can see we are able to display the data table based on the fields we selected directly we can also control this data table like uh, click on the data table column here here we can control the data table like how the data table should be displayed like uh, I don't want to display the ID so I can directly click on the ID uh, to delete the ID so let me zoom out just the screen So now you know I can see uh, I can able to delete the column if I don't want to uh, if I don't want to display and also we can uh, modify the label field label like I want to show here as opportunity opportunity name and uh, similarly uh, if you see the order number uh, it is it is displaying in underscore underscore C uh, we can modify this. Uh, similarly, if we want to uh, make sure that fields are sortable, we can select true. And if and if we want the field uh, fields to be displayed, like uh, by, based on searching, so we can make sure it is true. And uh, in the attributes, we need to make sure that uh, the property is enabled, the searchable property is enabled. So let's uh, make search of uh, 
name and uh, order number firstly let us uh, click on save and see how that is how it will be modified so you can see uh, ID is removed and the field label has been modified to opportunity name so in this way we can control our display we can control the columns how it should be displayed similarly if you want to uh, modify the close date also uh, let me click on here uh, even we also have the type also like we can modify the uh, type of the how, how it is displaying like I want to show it if I want to show it as a date and time I can select uh, sell from drop down I can select the date time so it will be modified to date time format so let me go with the only date now we also have the other features like easy readable to true or easy user selectable or easy usable or like to hide sensitive or unnecessary information so this provides uh, flexibility in designing the data table now let us click on save and see the modifications uh, now now let us add a search box here in the data table so for that one click on the attributes and uh, make sure that is searchable is true so that uh, we can search the fields we want to uh, we want to we would like to search for uh, make sure it is uh, turned on now we can see the search box has been added here so this is a kind of what you see is what you get kind of feature like uh, it is a kind of design design mode or preview mode this feature allows us to visually modify the elements in the flex card interface in the omni studio like we can see the real time changes like uh, before we are deploying you can see the modifications like this similarly we if you want to uh, style style this data table like if you want to modify uh, let, let's click on the style tab and we can uh, add the border color color all whatever the style we would like to add if we are not uh, uh, good with uh, here we also have the custom uh, custom CSS also that we would like we can add uh, also we can change the alignment or background color or anything like that we in with that this can be possible in the style also in the setup we will be controlling the data table like uh, for example uh, the report repeat options or styling options and the data source we, we have the data source here we can uh, we can change the data source anytime like uh, if we created a data table uh, we, I mean like if we created a data source we can select the data source and uh, select the whatever the interface name and save and fetch so that uh, we will be getting the response so in the background this uh, this this data source will be updated so now uh, let us see here uh, we have the repeat options like uh, make sure you are disabling this repeat options like uh, while displaying a data table or charts we don't need to display uh, we, we don't need to repeat the records like if we want to display a kind of account records in in a format that that can be repeatable so in that situation we can enable this repeat records but while displaying the data table all the records will be displayed here here in the data table only so we are not uh, enabling this and also uh, let's let's preview our flex card like uh, let's see how our flex card will be displayed so uh, here let us click on the preview here so we will be checking how our flex card will be displayed and also we can modify from here itself here also like uh, you can directly modify can directly modify here on the data table if we to style now we can see uh, and the dimensions also it will be modified based on the size we are providing so let us go let us go and preview our flex card Now we can see uh, our flex card we can preview our flex card here and also we can see on different uh, devices like uh, we can select desktop la tablet mobile we can see on different uh, access using accessibility feature we can preview our comp component flex card in under different devices if we want to see in tablet we can directly see how the our how our component will be displayed in different devices so in this way we can preview our flex card now if you want to make any kind of modifications uh, we can we can all we can anytime we can click on redesign design so we can uh, modify our flex card so now uh, what we'll do let us display only some records I mean some mm, we can control the page like we can will be displaying only few records here like in the page size we can select the number of records we would like to give I would like to give only five records now so uh, it is automatically updated 
Uh, similarly, if I uh, also in the page nations uh, page page limit, we can control like how many page uh, page page nations number we would like to give. I can give three or two. So this will display the page nation numbers. So currently, I will be giving only two. Uh, now, uh, now after making the enough modifications, we can preview and activate. Since we have previewed it, uh, let us uh, activate the modification mod modified the modified flex card. So let me activate uh, the flex card. So in the background, uh, it will be it will be creating a it will be deploying the LWC. Uh, we can also see the publish options in the Lightning interface. We can if you want to add any kind of SVG resource, we can add it from here. And also the targets like if our flex card needs to be displayed in any com any community pages, then we can enable from here. And also uh, after operating, we can see in the editor, we can see the XML file, like uh, the targets which we gave and the master label. So with this name, we will drag the component and we have the target configuration property, other properties in the editor. Once we are good with uh, publishing, let's click on save and uh, act, publish, publish our flex card. I mean, we will activate our flex card. So after configurations are updated, uh, uh, we we are we our flex card is in live, and also once uh, once flex card is activated, we don't have any options to edit the flex card. If you want to uh, make any kind of modifications, we just need to edit. Uh, we just need to deactivate and uh, modify the flex card. I think I created a lightning page like uh, to drag the component. Let me click on this edit page. So I'll be dragging and dropping this uh, our recently created flex card. So it will be available under custom. Under custom component, we will will drag our component. Uh, let's drag our component here. Let us click on save. Once it's added, let me go back and preview our flex card. Now let's uh, we can we can search like uh, whether whether all the functionalities are working. So in this way, we can test our flex card, how, how the data table is working. So in this video, we have created a data table in Omni Studio flex card that displays opportunity records in the closed one stage. So using declarative tools and drag and drop interface, we have configured the data sources and applied uh, column filters and customized the data table. So all this is without writing a single piece of code. This is the power of low code development on the Salesforce platform. I hope you liked this example. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Salesforce Techbook. Thank you.